This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Well guys, today we have something special uh, because I have been working on a tutorial series for you guys and after recording three videos, the whole thing crashed. Okay, so I lost a model, sorry to say. Nevertheless, I have three videos uh, containing um, uh, topics on modeling and UVing and after some thought I decided to uh, put them online anyway because I think and hope that they are helpful, okay? So in uh, part one, we're going to start with the modeling. There's a part two on modeling and part three will be a complete UV tutorial, okay? So sorry to say we can't do the texturing, but nevertheless, I hope it's helpful. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, here we go. I'm just going to get this out of the way here. We're going to start with a polygon cylinder and we're going to go into our attribute editor, hit control A to pull that up. And let's see, we'll do zero caps, we'll do 20 on the subdivision and I'm just going to go in, right click get a face and delete that top face. Okay. Then we're gonna create the basic shape here. So we're gonna right click at object mode. We're gonna hit R to scale it out. Pull that up until we have the roughly the appropriate height. And then we're gonna right click and get a vertex, drag select the top and pull to flare that out. Okay, that looks about right, it's fine. And then we're gonna go in, right click face, select this face Control E to extrude. We're gonna tweak the offset to pull that inwards. Let's do 0.1. Yeah, that's okay, 0.1. And then G to repeat, hang on. We're gonna select that again. We're gonna hit G to repeat last command. Hit W to move that up, just a little and R to flare that in just slightly, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the overall cup a little bit of thickness. So we'll first go into, where'd it go? Insert edge loop and add an edge loop down here, just to hold that shape a bit. And we'll put one up here as well. like that, okay? Hit Q on our keyboard, right click object mode, hit Control E to extrude. Let's give it a thickness of 0.1. Let's have a look. That looks all right. That too. And now we're gonna do a preview smooth. So right click object mode and hit three to preview. You can see that the top here is a bit rounded down here as well, and we have a huge end gone here, so we need to address that. So we're gonna hit one to go back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in to insert edge loop. We'll add an edge loop right there and right there. That should fix that problem. One there and one there to hold that shape. And we already have one up here, okay? So hit Q on our keyboard, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, right click at a face, click and shift, double click, control E to extrude, and a thickness of let's say 0.1. Okay, we're gonna right click at object mode, and once again, we're gonna hit three to preview smooth. Now the top of the cup looks okay, the bottom looks nice, we're gonna hit one to go back and we're gonna put in an edge loop down here just to make that edge a little bit more stiff, if you will, like so. Right click object mode, hit three to smooth. Nice. Okay, now we've been preview smoothing so far. That's not good enough. But first we are gonna go in and actually smooth it. So we're gonna go to mesh and smooth instead of preview smooth, okay? And we need to make sure that we don't have an end gone. Now it looks like the problem solved itself because I see one, two, three, four vertices there. I see four there. 
So I don't expect that we have any end guns here, but what we're going to do is we're going to right click and go to object mode and we're going to go to mesh and clean up. And uh, let's see, we are going to go for faces with more than four sides and hit apply and nothing is there. So we'll just hit clean up for the heck of it. Okay, this is uh, our cup, okay? Next, we are going to drill with the lid.